safety, the Minister for Aviation, Kofi Ada, has dismissed report of plans by the Ministry to privatise the Kotoka International Airport. This follows some emerging documents suggesting the Ministry was engaging a Turkish company, Tav Airport, uh, Airport Holding Company Limited, to manage the airport. But speaking to Joy Business, Kofi Ada says the information is false. He actually describes it as a political gimmick. We'll hear from the minister shortly, but let me bring you details of that uh, information which the minority is telling us is a leaked cabinet memo. Uh, and, and here is actually ranking member of parliament, roads and transport minister. Um, roads and he is a ranking member for roads and transport committee in parliament, Kwame Abuja. He's been speaking to my colleague, Joseph Apuku Gakbo. Kumas, uh, the Tamale Airport, which the president signed, uh, cut the sword. The, 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 Tamale. the, the Tamale Interchange. Uh, Tamale Interchange. If you open this agreement, uh, and uh, obviously we are told the agreement has been entered into on the 18th of July uh, uh, 2018. If you were to open to uh, uh, one of the pages, uh, the clauses in this agreement, you read, and it reads, if, if I read it, I can give you a copy of that. It says, uh, at, uh, at uh, point number five, A, the contract shall, ca shall come into full force and effect on the date within uh, when all the following conditions are fully established. And he listed a, a, a number of things. And uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Point number seven, it says, and categorical, you can read. It says, completion of a value for money audit by Minister of uh, 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 Finance. It says, this agreement cannot come into force until you fulfill all this. We are aware that there's no value for money for Tamale interchange. So when the president was cutting the sword and, and getting, telling the contractors that start work that day, and I'm giving you from that day to a certain number of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, a month, the president was breaching this agreement. The president is a lawyer. I am a lay person, I'm saying that my beef with the president on this when i i'm not sure whether beef is the right word it's not to say don't build infrastructure it's to say that as a lawyer as the, the number one person in this country we want to see you respect the laws of this country and the law says that this project cannot start until a full value for money audit is done why do we need a full value for money my brother and uh, the issue about whether it's a loan or not, that one, if you read uh, one of the articles, you realize that government of Ghana is even supposed to be paying 20% advance payment to the contractor. Yet it's, oh, well, well uh, yes, that, 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 that bit is uh, uh, here, 14, uh, uh, for, uh, clause 14.2, advance payment. The employer, in this case, the employer is government of Ghana, shall make an advance payment as an interest-free loan for mobilization and design when the contractor submits a guarantee in accordance with this sub clause. In other words, when they submit designs and guarantees, government of Ghana is supposed to advance money to them. Kwame Agboja there speaking to you. My colleague Joseph Opoku Gakpo. Well, what is the ministry or what is government's response to this? Hear them. I haven't seen anything credible on that. I'd like to get something credible from whoever is putting this out for them to explain to me what they mean by privatization or selling and so on and so forth. I've been a consultant for the most part of my life, professional life in Ghana. Uh, when you talk about privatization, it takes all kinds of connotations. I don't know where it's come from. I don't know who's put this out there. I've even heard that it's been said somewhere that they are selling Ghana Airport. I don't know who you're going to sell it to, who's going to buy it, for how much. I'm, I'm surprised at this. But the government would always look at any kinds of arrangement that would improve the value of the assets that we have in the nation. Bear in mind that the president has made it very clear that he's here to protect the public purse. The public purse is not just about the money, about the treasury, but even about the assets. So if there's any assets that the state owns that we have to protect, it's not about just protecting and keeping the way it is and keeping there for it to remain that way for a long time, that in effect would mean that the value is going down. It would be our duty for us to enhance the value of that asset. So any kinds of arrangements, any kinds of business plans, any kinds of discussions, any kinds of negotiations, any kinds of partnerships, whoever brings them, whether it's you, the journalist, or any business person, 
who proposes this is the way that we can help you to improve on the assets that you have, to add values on that. We'd be more than happy to engage you. Many have come around. I have not had any serious discussion with any party on that matter. But at this stage, nobody has formally come to me talking about what we need to do to privatize. And I don't, I don't know where the word privatization comes from. I don't know where the word sales comes from. I'm yet to see the documentation to read and understand and know what they're talking about. So I think the question should go more to those who are putting this out. If some people undertake some cheap political shots, or what does it exist? That's for them to ask. There, what does the airport company itself has to say? Managing director Yao Kwakwa is saying that his outfit is still in charge of running the airport. We have also heard uh, rumors, but uh, I was the number one at the Ghana Airport Company. Uh, I believe you all understand that if something of that nature were taking place or is being discussed or have been tabled, I'll probably be the first person to know. But I can tell uh, the whole of Ghana and the entire world that I've not seen any document of, of, uh, to that effect. And as such, I can only refer to the rumor going around. I've seen a one-pager that talks about, uh, I think, a memo written to cabinet. I've not seen any document. The only thing that I've seen is what I believe you've also seen that is going around.